Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to section two of this full FL Studio uh, 20 production course, and we're looking at section two, part um, part six in this instance, and we're looking at how um, how to export project stems for sound engineer in FL Studio. Now, the mod there's more links in the more description below, so you guys can follow this tutorial much easier. Okay, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Let's head over straight to FL Studio, and we're gonna look at this tutorial. So yeah, so what we got here is a quick track that I've done. I'm gonna play it to you, and we've got different like snare, hi hats, everything is on different channels, as you can see. Now. When it comes to exporting this as a track for sound engineer to use, um, they will need this in all individual sections. And usually they would message you, the artist would message you and say, can I please have all the track outs, all the stems? It's the same kind of, same thing, just two different namings. Some people call them track outs, some people call them stems. Okay, um, whichever they you say, you know exactly that they're looking for a each individual sound being exported individually on their own for the sound engineer to mix and master but how do you go about doing that in FL Studio really quickly without having to you know just enabling one sound export and enable another one export blah 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 and keep going you probably dry, drag all your hairs out and this is something that wasn't available to us when we first started using FL Studio back in 2005 you know 2000 and going back to like 10 years, what, 2010, 2012, we didn't have these features as we have now in FL Studio 20 as we're using, but we can do that with click of a button. So, really cool. Here in FL Studio, okay, as we go into it, again, file, okay, at the top, and we click here on export. And exports, we click on file, WAV file again, sorry, WAV file, click on that, and you know usually it would give us an output whether we want to export this at this point okay I'm gonna stop you here what you need to do is you will need to make a folder for all the sounds to go into okay so saying that okay we're gonna go into path and I won't just put it here as I did with all the other ones I'm gonna make a new folder so usually you make a new folder by going to your location and you would just right click anywhere on the screen here and it would go down to new and then go up here to folder so right click new and folder and this will give you a new folder with no name so you would just give it a name and I'm gonna call this track out track out stems of new song or new beat for an artist and click enter and this is the folder that we've got over here and as you can see you know the folder is ready it's here and I just got to put all my files into it so I'm gonna click into the folder and I'm gonna name this the files that are gonna be put into this folder because they're all gonna be separated right that's the reason why we make a new folder because we want don't want them in separate folders mixing with any other files we want all the files separately in one folder so in here we are gonna just you know name this as the main B you know, I don't know. I, my name is Path Beat. I'm a music producer. I'm gonna Path Beat, and I don't know. Just leave it as that. Main beat. So whatever you wanna call your beat. I don't know if you're gonna call this. Uh, I don't know, Titanic or whatever. <laughs> and you're gonna press Enter. When you press Enter again, you get this box come up. Same as we did before with all the different settings that we've had. So to get this settings correct on the mixer track down here okay we are gonna select split mixer tracks okay also here at the top we already run through um, the quality so if you guys want to know more about the quality on that files the 24 bit what this does and what this does look at part 4 and part 5 of this section which tells you how to export in high quality mp3 and high quality VAF. Now, exporting stems such as the track outs and stems, they will always be exported in 24 bit 52 point sync, which is the highest definition, and you would always split the mix of tracks, they'll always come in VAF file format. 
I want you guys to click on here, make sure this is selected, this split mix of tracks. Now, trust me, back in the days, if us producers had this button, we wouldn't spend, we wouldn't spend like five, six hours trying to cut everything up. Not five, six hours, I'm over exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Like it's, It took us literally like an hour trying to split the whole track up. And now you can do a click of a button, which is pretty much a joke for all of us that had to go the hard way back in the days but you guys have got it easy so it's great and once you select this split mixer track right this is going to split everything and we just click on start and let it run All right, huh. all right. So finally it finished. As you can see, it's finished doing this export. Also, one more thing I wanted to point out: when you do this as a track out, okay, I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration. When you do a track out and split the mix of tracks, notice how the file size up here changes. So if we split it, look at that. That is 250 megabytes. Now that is very high definition because each sound's being exported differently. So that obviously will give us multiple files with multiple uh, file size. So if we head over to our folder, um, which is not there, <laughs> um, folder which is path, and I know I made a folder called trackouts, which is just over here. I click on trackouts. You will have all the different tracks like this. Now, usually the master, you can just leave that. That is the main file, the main song exported for the sound engineer to use as a example, as a as a kind of dummy file of what they're looking for when they import all the files. Sometimes, you know, you can have a glitch and one of the sounds doesn't get exported. So, you know, you always kind of get your you know tell your artist who you're working with tell them that you know get your sound engineer to test it to make sure everything's there check this uh, to use the master as a reference file that's the word I was looking for it's like a reference file for the sound engineer to use so let's have a quick look at that so when we play this you can see that this is the whole beat now if we go over here and, and play the current this is the same thing, exported, okay? So you can kind of delete the current, don't really need it. Just use, leave the master in there. And then you would have all the um, all the other files. So you, you know, let's, let's play this. So this is the kick. So you could go in there, you can rename this. You can go in here and name this kick. Make it easier for the sound engineer. So this is the snare, and you know, you kind of get to point all the different sounds in different sections, which is really cool, because as you can see, we've done that with a click of a button, and then obviously you would just kind of right click, compress the folder, right click, compress, and once this is compressed, you could then use this compressed folder, and you could send this compressed folder to your artist and say, here you go, you've got all your files inside, you know, enjoy your file. Thanks for paying me. Hopefully they pay you. <laughs> but this is how you export the track outs in FL Studio. Really simple. Okay, now guys, we're going to head over over here into um, section 7. How to set up auto backup 
NFL Studio. Now, this is a lifesaver NFL Studio, so we definitely need to tell you how to set up auto backup because your NFL Studio will crash sometimes and you will lose your file. And it happens, you know, you can press few keys, something will run wrong, and it, you'll just get the error on the screen and boom, that's it, your file is gone. So it's very important that you guys back up, you know, and save, run a backup on FL Studio, which actually runs every few seconds. But let's go into part seven of this tutorial where we'll explain more about the backup. All right, let's do this.